Hello. This is for Leo. The energy is magic today and it's full of gratitude. Wow. Wow. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come. With my magical times card, this is the deck and I keep this card in here to let me know that miracles are possible, that miracles will happen. She's holding this dragon, this powerful dragon. You have a dragon within you. Anything is possible. You're holding your power. There's also swans here, two swans with it. <laughs> this energy. My heart is so open right now. It's funny because I'm trying to tame it a little bit when I shouldn't. I should just let it flow and grow. So maybe you're feeling like you have to tame Tame yourself, calm down or something. Change, change when to come out. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and the joy of the new day. <laughs> Dragonflies. No, that's a, a butterfly, excuse me, which is a symbol for metamorphosis. Flying high, going great distances, being very delicate. This could be a very delicate change. It could be changing very delicately, one little tiny thing at a time. One tiny little gratitude piece at a time. Building up. You could see butterflies or a butterfly. It could, and this is a, a sign from this reading. To have faith. Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Let's ask right now. Spirit, please show us guidance. Please show us the way. What is the message today for Leo? Expectation. Be open for whatever comes next, right? With the magical times card. Um, it is a new moon, so things could feel kind of dark, but the moon is still there. The sun is still there on the other side of the earth, but we just don't see it right now. Maybe you're not seeing the results yet, but you're having an expectation. It's saying to expect this change, to have faith in the good things coming. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear with gratitude. When we're in the energy of gratitude, it is the energy of receiving. mercy have mercy with yourself this card says let compassion fill your world offer kindness to all living things what you give you also receive so you're giving gratitude to the universe and the universe gives you things to be grateful for things it's grateful for you about things that you know it knows that you love because you vibrate on a happy or frequency when you think of those when because you hold them in your heart and so all that emotion what you hold in your heart it shines out from you because we're energetic beings each atom uh within us it's you know we're we're energy and that shines out it's um to most people it's a um uh, they can't see they, like most people can't see auras but some some can. And it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. Joyous view of the future. But your heart light shines out really brightly. We see all this light around her. It's a Kuan Yin. The mudra she's holding is <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> Let me say something about music. Love rock and roll. Joan Jett, Union. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join forces with friends and flourish. 
Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. All right. Please guide us. Please guide me for the highest message, for the highest good of all. Power over difficulty. Reclaiming your power. Leo energy. Brilliant beliefs. Portal. See the light coming from her. Infinite mind. Awakening consciousness. I believe we're infinite. Possibilities. Miracles are infinite. Anything is possible. I feel like you need to tell you that. Number one, emperor energy, Aries energy, masculine energy, fire energy, this portal, this gateway, whatever this beautiful portal is right now is magical, brilliant beliefs, luminous life force, personal power. Look, she's coming from her heart to the mind. What number is that? 45, which is a nine which is about manifestations, it's a wish, it's, um, it's right before the big manifestation, it's saying you have everything that you need to manifest what you want. All you have to do is ask, ask for guidance, we saw that, right? Ask for guidance and it will come. Ask from your heart. A trick about manifesting is when you ask why you want it and you get into that reason why and it's from the heart, that's where the magic is. This came out in the Cancer reading. Precognition, Psychic Ability, Future Vision, card number 13. So what's happening now, this energy coming in now, is shaping your... There's a portal here. So you get to decide what you're focusing on. Are you living in gratitude? Are you focusing... On gratitude, are you focusing on this change, this beautiful change that you want to come, whatever it is? Are you having faith in it? There's discernment. It says, see the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows. Partnership and sacred space. Both of these cards are purple. Discernment is orange, so it's like sexual energy to me. Creativity, fire. Um... If you're in a partnership, right, and there's this frog and this woman, this could be a work partnership. Um, some of you could be getting some a contract, a new job, um, getting a raise. The frog is looking at her like with loving eyes. I just keep re being reminded. There's a lot of frogs today of um, you kiss the frog and it becomes your prince but it's for and it's like but it's symbolic for what you see maybe as a toad a toadstool <laughs> um warts or something there's powerful oh, that reminds me of that story okay the faith of change, power over difficulty. There is a, um, a Neville Goddard teaching, and he talks about the old, um, and I was just telling my daughter about this. If one of your children or someone you know like has a wart, and of course they don't want it, as a mother or a parent, a father, you say, um, can I buy that wart from you? It's a manifestation technique. And you tell the person, I want to buy that wart from you so you don't have it anymore, right? Like once you have to sell it to me so it no longer belongs to you. And um, and it kind of looks like they're tugging on her a little bit. Like, hey, I'd like to buy something or I'd like to show you something or can I, it's almost like, I would like to have something of yours or like what you're sharing or something. You know, that's what it's reminding me of. And I'm seeing, I'm being drawn to the warts. Anyways, so you sell the warts for like a dime or a penny or whatever, a dollar. And um, 
it's been proven in the past that for little kids, because their mind is so open, um, that the wart will go away within a month, a week, and sometimes, um, but it will go away. And Wayne Dyer also speaks about this when his one of his daughters had something called flat warts, and she he was I think he was speaking one night at a seminar or something for PBS or and there was another man there who was a doctor and he told his daughter um to talk to the warts and tell them um thank you for being there I appreciate all you've done but it's time for you to go like I've learned what I needed to go I've learned what I needed to learn um you know please leave in peace and uh he it's a really beautiful thing but anyways asking them to go and then he said Wayne Dyer said that his daughter's flat warts went away within like a week and he could hear her underneath her covers with a flashlight um talking to someone and he said I can't I can't remember who it was Sky or someone but um he said honey who are you talking to and she said I'm talking shh, I'm talking to my and she called him like um she didn't call them warts or flat warts, but she called them something else. My bumps, that's what she called them. I'm talking to my bumps. And then he said like seven days, they were gone. So that can be helpful to someone out there. This knowledge, this download could help you, right? This is a portal, um, a chance to begin again, number one, right? The fool's journey. Um, you're beginning again, taking this leap of faith, um, trying this opening your mind to new things uh, and seeing results change having faith um, you can give your money worries your issues or whatever you can also um, if you don't have anyone to buy them from you like say it's you have them um, metaphorically or just like drop them like Pack up some stuff to go to uh, Salvation Army and pack in your worries, your doubts, your fears, your money issues, whatever it is, into the bags that you're giving to Salvation Army or to um, Goodwill, wherever, wherever you're giving it to, a local charity um, that you believe in, um, and give them in the, put them in the bag and then give them away and say, and, you know, send them with peace. Um, pray that they go to the right place and that they benefit and bless all who, um, that energy blesses all that comes in contact with them. And may they um, change their form into something beautiful and a blessing, right? Speak it however feels right in your heart, whatever feels right to you. Um, and have faith and discernment in this change. Have the courage to believe in these brilliant beliefs. <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So that's for somebody. I, I love today. Mm -hmm. Faith. May trust steady your fears. And Look what's next. Beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry. Refresh. I'm so giddy right now. And shine. May you be a lighthouse. Ah, with ease. May it be effortless. Give your worries to God. And shine brighter than ever before. Believing in faith, walking in faith, that you've given these issues, whatever it is, away. You've sold them to God. They're now in the hands of God, the divine. And God turns everything into a blessing. May your heart and your scope expand space. I'm going to leave that there. That's just so beautiful. Leo. 
hostilities, conflict, unrest, power over difficulty, reclaiming your power. Give it away. Let it go. You see how her hands are lit up. Ball them up and give them away. Sell them. Give them to the earth. Go in your backyard, your front yard. Give it to the plant. And I'm going to be frank here, so <laughs> bear with me. Manure, I'll, I'll use a better word. Manure is fertilizer. So these hostilities, this difficulty, this manure, if you don't have a yard, say you live in an apartment or something, give it to a plant because it's manure. <laughs> you ever, I know you know what I'm saying. And it replenishes the earth. It, you're giving nutrients to the earth. The energy of the earth transmutes that, right? It's, it's, um, <laughs> it makes it into something useful. Some of you are fighting with a loved one. I'm seeing these two swans again. It could be ego based. Someone could be in their ego as I'm seeing the stag with great horns. Someone could uh, want to win at all costs. There's a snake here. Someone could be trying to control you or you're trying to control an outcome. And it's saying here to let go, be at ease. This is 31 and 32. So there's a progression here of understanding that all things um, are blessings. You just, and you may not know why yet. You may not know why, but if you can think back on your life and be truly honest with yourself and look back and say, if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be the person I am today and I wouldn't be learning or I wouldn't be as wise as I am. I, you know, that was a blessing. I learned what I needed to learn on my soul's journey to grow and ascend. I believe this is like an earth school and we're ascending to learn how to love deeper, greater, and to shine brighter with that love, that joy within us. And when we do that, we heal the earth and we heal each other. When we heal ourselves, we heal our neighbor. We heal our animals. We heal our children. We heal our friends. When we meditate and we pray and we're in that space of God-like energy of divine, it brings ease and healing to everyone around you. And that healing goes far. It's scientifically proven and it's there's a it's called it's an effect. Um, if you know what it's called, please put it in the comments because I want to be reminded of it. And I think people need to know so you, you can go study it. But monks were put in the middle of Detroit in the baddest part of town and they meditated um, and were peaceful and crime went down. When they took them out, the crime went up again. So um, when we're steady, as we grow and become more peaceful, more calm within, and we let the negativity just roll on by, our thoughts just keep going, just flow like water. You don't want to dam up the, the, the river like a beaver, right? Beavers are, um, are uh, helpful in some sense. Sometimes you have to learn something. Sometimes the dam has to be built. Sometimes you need a bridge. Sometimes you need to build a home. An animal needs to build a home. There's symbology. There's symbols in everything. Symbology in everything. <laughs> um, everybody's situation is different. But it all comes to the love that we share in our heart that, that is within us. The peace that we feel within heals and it's magical. We are energetic beings. So when we change our frequency to gratitude, joy, bliss, happiness, when people are in love, again, it's scientifically proven. Go look up Bruce Lipton. He talks about the honeymoon effect. 
your life just magically gets better. Things work out because you're not focusing on the problem. And I believe that's what this is saying, is to focus on your faith and the beauty and the change that you want. Um, the healing of the earth. Focus your attention. Mag it magnetizes things to you. Divine feminine. Um, it's receptive power. Wings of light. Becoming something new. Something greater. Ascending um, into a higher version of yourself. A better life for yourself. Living in more gratitude. Um, your life will change. It's science. And it's beautiful. Blessings to you, Leo. Until next time, I love y'all.